So they were lower, but I don't know if they were that much lower yet. There's, there's not a big enough industry in Saskatchewan to really drive the economy and <laughs> scale down. Yeah. Really, theirs was, in all the grand scheme of things, a pretty small system when you look at commercial and large scale. Yes. The okay. thing, there's other models as well I, um, that, that are we haven't talked about, but there's one that I kind of like the idea of. It's called virtual net metering. Has anyone heard of virtual net metering? So virtual net metering is basically I have 30 panels on my house, right? Let's say those 30 panels were 10 kilometers away as part of a big solar farm. And so uh, the economies of scale, and let's say there's 3,000 panels on that farm, right? So the economies of scale allow me to be able to buy those 30 panels over there and basically um, just have an account that keeps track of what my panels are generating. And I, I basically get the same benefit that I do right now, but my panels are kind of over there somewhere. So there's a, a version of, of that kind of mass, you know, large scale solution where you get the benefits of the economies of scale, but you actually have uh, the notion that well, those are my panels, that's my system, you know. Sorry, um, just to be aware of time. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll just kind of wrap up formally and then if you have want to stick around and Stephen, you have some time to stick around a bit. Um, so just three things. I have some surveys there. Again, if you're uh, wanting to avoid the, the monkey online, um, <laughs> then you can grab a survey there and I welcome you to that. Uh, also, I handed, there was two sign-up sheets that are going around. Okay. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Um, and the third thing was, is whether you answer this survey or on the bottom of the uh, one here, actually Mitt pointed this out, um, that these kind of questions, like what you were saying, the difference between the large scale and the small scale, uh, please put down any feedback like that on that 10th ten, ten question, because, and, I, and Mitch was right, when we get all that feedback, we can see what kind of people to invite here so that we're not just like, I heard this and I heard that and that sounds good. And, you know, I, I, I know we're educated people here, but it's it can be helpful if we have that information ahead of time so we can actually invite the actual representatives of some of these things. Like, for example, to your question, I'm guessing when on November 20th, when they come here, they can address that question Know, they probably looked into that, right? So um, I just would encourage you to use that space on that that bottom feedback question. If you have any questions or comments, I'll. When I was playing with the survey, I was like, only one line. I'll see if I can expand that to a bigger box so that you guys can, you know, write a little novel there. And uh, so um, I think that's yeah. I guess maybe do that. I don't know if it's an email. Right. And it's my thought on this is that everyone's going to have you know, potential barriers. Everyone's obviously interested in solar and everyone's got probably a list of barriers in their mind of why they're not doing it right now. I think it would be really interesting to kind of see what those barriers are, categorize them, and then we can, you know, every barrier is, is just, you know, every obstacle can be overcome, but we just need to figure out what those are. And I think there'll be common themes that we can kind of put into buckets, and part of that might be suggestions to SAS power, and if we get enough people interested, that's even more power that we have to go into policy type of things, or there might be some things that we have to go into installers who have to say, this is what we need to know, so we're interested in. So just that, you know, that type of uh, a space where we can kind of gather all that, I think would be really important for this group to benefit. So I will, I'll uh, provide more space on that, and then I'll include as an example of what are barriers holding you back or questions that's, that's good feedback. Okay, because I haven't sent that out yet, so I can still amend it a little bit. Um, okay, and uh, I think, like I said, two weeks again from now, we'll be back here to discuss again. And uh, again, we wanted to set a little deadline. You guys can have those surveys done by then, and uh, $20 registration fee. And again, we'll send information out regarding the details on that. Um, but uh, yeah, that, uh, if anyone wants to stick around and chat, feel free. Um, but uh, thank you again for coming out.